Good afternoon, UCF Knights. I'm Selena Schaefer, and here's a quick look at what's making news Wednesday, February 24th, 2016. Around 400 students are a little bit more prepared for the future today. On a dark, rainy day, pre-law fraternity Phi Alpha Delta hosted its annual law forum today. Reporter Rachel White spoke to one student in attendance to find out what they learned at the event. Andrew Jacoma didn't always know he wanted to go to law school. Uh, since I was younger, my mom's been trying to persuade me to go into law school, become a lawyer, but I am stubborn and I decided that I want to do my own thing and want to follow my own footsteps. So with that being said, I kind of did three years of biomed and within since last semester of, uh, of fall of 2015, I switched over. Today, Jacoma had the chance to meet with more than 40 law schools, 10 legal organizations, and five LSAT prep courses. He says the decision to attend today was an easy one. I'm not really deciding on what school I want to go to, nor what program I want to involve myself in, or law I want to get involved in, so this is all informational. Executive board member of Alpha Phi Delta, Gabriel Aracocha, says his fraternity hosts the event each year to bring resources right to students. Students can have access to not only speak um, and ask questions, but to really see, meet, see them and meet them one-on-one -on -one and understand what that school and organization and LSAT prep course has to offer um, while be able to get their face and, across and have that one-on-one -on -one connection with those individuals. Ukoma says he is glad he came to campus on this dreary day to get an up-close look at his law school options. You can go online and look them up, but it doesn't do justice unless you're really talking to somebody, seeing the programs they offer, shaking hands and, and getting your face out there, showing name and also handing out your resume is a really good way to get your, your information out. He says this is an opportunity students shouldn't want to miss. In Orlando, Rachel White, UCF Nightly News. Phi Alpha Delta will be hosting an alumni panel tomorrow night at 6 p.m. in room 223 in the Student Union. This morning, the Latino Faculty and Staff Association hosted its Leading the Latino Community by Educating and Empowering event. The association is launching its Creer Futuros program this fall. In a dimly lit meeting, founding president Cynthia de Munoz spoke about how the program will help students succeed and instill leadership qualities. Munoz encourages members of the Latino community to strive and be leaders where they're needed most. We need people who truly understand the Latino culture and values and how we experience those values in our community. And we have to have those individuals at the forefront. So, you know, we, we should have people who can relate to our experiences making those decisions that impact us as a community. The association is also hosting a presentation in Latinas in Leadership tomorrow at 11 a.m. in the Student Union, room 221. The results of the Nevada caucus are in. Donald Trump once again finished from first place with more than 45 percent of the vote. Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz were second and third, respectively. UCF women's basketball played its final home game of the season last night. UCF defeated Houston 65-62 for its second straight victory. Seniors Mackenzie Reeser and Erica Warbay were honored after their final home game as Knights. The team will now hit the road to face Temple on Monday in its final regular season game. And here's a quick look at our weather forecast today. It's a rainy Wednesday here in Orlando. The high is 81 and the low is 51. We've seen plenty of rain so far and there's a 30% chance of rain for tonight. Tomorrow is looking better with a high of 68 and a low of 47. It should be sunny with clear skies. That's all the time we have for now. Be sure to check out our newscast on Friday at 1.30, Bright House Channel 734. And check back here tomorrow for another nightly news update. I'm Selena Schaefer. Thanks for watching and have a great day.